Hello, brothers and sisters. Blessed is God, our Father, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray for each and every one of y'all today. In Jesus' name, I just got back from my grandmother's house, talking to her about some stuff, and just got home. Um, I pray everyone's doing well. Everyone's doing good today. It's been a tough journey for all of us, and the journey will continue getting continue getting harder. You know, it'll, I don't think nothing will ever be the same anymore. The world that we once lived in is not the same anymore. You know, everything has completely changed. Everything is just just completely changed. Um, at this new job, you know, they're already scanning my forehead. I'm like, I have no mark. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're now doing this now. Well, my job is more different because we deal with, you know, I deal with sanitation, stuff like that. So um, I deal with cleaning up parts and stuff. But our job is, you know, is different. But, um, but yeah, they're, you know, now they're, you know, scanning foreheads now for temperatures and stuff. You know, it's, it's foreshadowing, you know, it's foreshadowing of the things yet to come, you know, the mark of the beast and everyone forced to take it, you know, and I was reading the Bible a couple of days ago, man. It's just like reading it again. I mean, we gotta, we gotta get in the word, you know, revelation right now is just popping up. It's like, Everything is illuminated. Every time I read it, it's like there's something new. There's something beneficial for what the times you're living in right now. But these are very, very troubling times. Indeed, brothers and sisters, these are very troubling times. Um, it feels like we're going to be soon seeing the lawless one. You know, we're going to be soon seeing the man of perdition come and try to change the laws, try to change everything around. All the things that Donald Trump has done, he's probably going to change everything. He probably even might remove the constitution this man will claim to be god himself you know claim to be god but well, he, he isn't he's just a foolish man whose, whose time will be very short and jesus christ will defeat him jesus is coming soon i feel like things that we're seeing now you know in a couple of years from now i believe that maybe even maybe even next year you know maybe even next year we might see some stuff but um um but right now you know with the rioting they're they're moving of um, with the statues and stuff, removing history and other stuff like that is just, it's getting worse. Sorry, I'm sweating right now. It's, it's hot. It's hot today. It's, it's hot in South Carolina today. Um, South Carolina. Yeah, it's hot. It is hot. But um, I just want to say God bless y'all in Jesus name. Um, I said I was gonna make a powerful video today, you know, but I feel like simple words are, you know, it's is more beneficial than anything. Keep, you know, keep pursuing Jesus Christ. Keep pursuing the Lord all the days of your life. Keep, you know, getting right with God. Keep repenting, you know, keep fasting, praying fast. Praying fast for the Lord also, you know, it's good to pray and fast for God also. Um, I feel like even when I'm working at this job, I just been getting so much, like, I don't know, like visions, but like, I just been getting like, I remember one day I was just, you know, working and I just couldn't stop thinking about what's going to come, you know? I just, it's just things are going to get much worse. But no matter what, God knows everything. God is in control. God is mighty. We don't, we don't know anything. Only God knows everything. We even know that when Jesus will return, only God, God knows. God, our Father knows now. Nobody knows when the Lord will return. Only God, the Father knows when truly Jesus will return. Because he remains in control. God the Father remains in control. He is always upon the throne now. So don't say, oh, I know this day. I know that day. No. You better trust in God. I'm telling you that much. You better fear the Lord. Many people are not fearing God anymore. You better fear the Lord, that God, who is holy and righteous and true in all his ways. Fear the living Lord. You know, he, he he's the overseer of our souls. Jesus Christ. He's the overseer of our very souls. He's the high priest. He's the beginning and the end. He holds the keys to hells and Hades. He holds he holds everything. His eyes as 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 fire, his his hair white as snow. Ha, glory to the Lord thy God. Glory to his holy name forever and forever. Amen. But um I just want to say God bless y'all in Jesus' name. I will be making more videos soon. Um I have some dreams to share also. I has I have some powerful dreams. Um maybe after this video, I don't know, but some dreams I I have read my mind. Also today, guess what? When I was driving 
I, I wake up like three in the morning for work. When I was driving today from um from work, I saw the blood moon. It was like on the horizon line, I saw a blood moon. The moon looked so weird today. It was like kind of orange, but it was like on the horizon line, it was red. I should have got a video of it, but I didn't get a video. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I saw a blood moon today in South Carolina. Yes, I did. But um, <laughs> I just want to say God bless y'all. Um, stay close to the Lord always. Trust in his mighty hand. God is able. Um, every day is a new day in the Lord. So rejoice in every day. Praise the Lord every single day. Love one another. No matter what skin color, Jesus knows everything. God made everyone equal. So I don't know why people keep saying, oh, black is black. No, God made you. God made everyone equal now. Not, not one skin is superior to the other skin. Every knee will bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, regardless of the skin color. Every person will bow. Even child too. Hey, glory to God. No matter what, you know, the Lord is mighty. He is mighty to save. So God bless you in Jesus' name.